cameraman. <laughs> okay, so they, they recommend I try this one. What's the name of this one? Penny Mama. Penny Mama. Penny Mama. <laughs> Penny Mama. Very interesting name. So this is Penny Mama. Do you know the price of this one? 60 rupees. Okay, so it's about 60 rupees. So why not? Let's give it a shot. This is what it looks like. It's literally just hanging there. Explain to us what's going on so here. So welcome what am back, I guys. Thank you. This is a puriza. It's a fusion dish. Puriza. Wherein we bring pizza flavors into puri. Oh, okay. It's a base of pani puri. Namaskaram, Namaskaram. I'm super excited to be here at one of the largest markets here in Bangalore, Vivi Puram Street Market. And here you will find nothing but street food. It's almost like a carnival here. It happens every day here in Bangalore. So this is going to be an amazing experience. So let's take a walk down that way and really get a vibe here in Bangalore. Yeah. I, had a, I, had, I had a spicy peri peri chips. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Chicken? Okay. Shake hand, of course. Why not? I've made some friends today here at the market. Really friendly people. <laughs> bye bye. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a camera. We got, hi. Hi. We got, we got a YouTuber here. This is camera. That's camera. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> all right Hello. how you doing my friend yeah you all right yeah how you doing good stuff all right England yeah yeah doing a vlog here in the market okay guys you said 30 seconds all right so basically guys what happened was I've met a few people in the markets some are a bit shy yeah. What's your name, my friend? Deepak. Deepak. And your name? Divya. Divyan. And your name? Anuja. Danuja. And your name? Satya. Satya. Okay, my name's Imani. And these guys are going to show me some foods I should try here in the in the market. Okay, let's go. I'll see you guys. All right. So, so guys, is this market open every day? I guess so, yeah. Every day? All right. All right. It is generally like a lot of income from this place. Okay, okay. So would you say that this is one of the busiest street food market in Bangalore? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? All right. Not only in uh, Bangalore, yeah. Yeah? No, no, no. Okay. On to the end of this road. End of the road, okay. Yeah. All right. So it's one of the busiest in Bangalore? Kind of, yes. Kind of, okay. Nice. Not only here, yeah. I'm not from this place, oh. but I just say relocated to this place. Oh. Even in this around this area, the traffic is a little bit high. All right. We're just waiting for some friends. Yeah. Let's go. 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 Hello my friend, I'm a, this is the one I tried earlier, oh, that one, see, yeah. <laughs> so you can see, there's a lot going on, oh right here, okay, so they recommend I try the sweet corn, right? sweet corn, I think it's sweet corn yeah. which flavor of the sweet corn? Corn. Which flavor? American sweet corn. Just American sweet corn. Imagine if there was an England sweet corn. Okay. Um, oh, American sweet corn. Okay. See, whatever you want, you can try. Yeah, no, no. Anyone you say, I want, I, I want your recommendation on this one. American sweet corn masala. Okay, American sweet corn masala is what I'm gonna try. So let's see. American sweet corn. Yeah. All right. So you can see we got corn on the fire. Yeah, that's kind of lit. Yeah, you got someone at the back there. Yeah, that's kind of lit, bro. All right, nice. <laughs> guys, a lot of things going on. Namaskar. All right, there's a lot going on, guys. So I'm waiting for the 
American sweet corn. We want to say uh, like uh, more gateful and you should say namaskaram. It's like Sanskrit word. Oh, namaskaram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no. Sanskrit word. Like, it's like more grateful. Yeah, more grateful. All right. So namaskaram is the one I should be saying. That's right. Namaskar is like more general term, but it is a namaskar in all Telugu and all most terms and most languages except that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So do, do, do many people around here speak Hindi? No, yeah, mostly understand uh, Hindi, but, they are, but these are native people, so okay. they are comfortable with the hometown language, that is uh, Kannada. Kannada is a hometown language, okay. So, Bangalore comes under a state called Karnataka, Karnataka. and Karnataka's uh, mother tongue or native language is uh, Kannada. Okay, so guys, we're learning a lot. So when we were in Tamil Nadu, you heard me saying vernacular and stuff like that, but we're in a new state and the main language spoken here is Canada. So that's really interesting. When you travel throughout India, you will notice that each state you go to, there's different languages. So very interesting in India. Yeah. All right. India is having like a lot of languages and even there are a lot of languages which are not even known. Known, yeah. So like there are maybe highlighted languages like Telugu, Kannada, English, Hindi, Marathi, but there are some uh, languages which are spoken in a very small section. Like in a small village or something like that. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, and they're like like secluded languages as well, right? Yeah. Tribal languages and... Correct. Wow. And they are very proud not to share with somebody else. Like they want the language to preserve. Like there are some tribes, right? Though they want to preserve their traits. They don't want it to be destroyed. Oh wow! Because humans are known for destruction. Right. So so they so so they don't want to share their language with outside people. It is not that they don't want to share. They will allow only certain people okay. to communicate because they don't give a chance to everybody. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Because. We all know that humans are very good for messing up people. Right, right. Very interesting. So we're learning a lot about people preserving their languages here in India. Thanks for sharing that with me. Yeah. Yeah. Man. yeah. And uh, you should be like a little bit aware because every place is good and also have a two faces. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's good thing and bad thing. So sometimes people will exploit good things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes sir so i want the american masala american sweet corn masala american sweet corn ma ma masala chai here all right thank you correct nice yeah yeah so yeah. you're learning hindi yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right so let's wait for it guys for how long we have been into india right now yeah well india now will be around my second week second. yeah if I'm not wrong, like you spend like a week in Tamil Nadu, right? Yeah, about that. I went to some of the major sites. What do you next plan? After here, um, perhaps I might want to try Jaipur. Jaipur? Oh, yeah. Pink City. Yeah, yeah, Pink the Pink City, City yeah. Uh, it's a very wealthy city. Yeah. If you get a time, I really, uh, really recommend you to go to Kolkata. Kolkata, yeah, that's the east, yeah. Have yeah. you went to Goa? No, I haven't been to Goa. <laughs> no, I haven't been to Goa. Are, are, are you from Goa? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm from Andhra Pradesh. I've been, Andhra to Pradesh. Okay. I've been to Kolkata. Yeah. It's a very good place. It is known as City of Joy. Oh, wow, okay. It is called Silicon City, right? Mm -hmm. So, Kolkata is also known as City of Joy. Wow. You speak Andhra Pradesh too. Oh, Andhra Pradesh. So, you guys are Telugu? Yes. Oh, wow. So, you know about Sadhguru? Sadhguru, yeah. Sadhguru, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, guys. So, yeah, Kolkata is known as the City of Joy. Yeah. Might have to check that out. Okay, guys. So, this. You mind, you mind being a cameraman? Hold oh, it yeah. for me. Alright, all right. you got a cameraman there. You can see me clearly? Yeah, he is. Wonderful, can. wonderful. I can, I can catch her. Oh, she is a very good. Oh, she's very good? She's a very good DOP. Alright, she, so she recommended it for me, guys. Yeah. So let's see if it's really worth it. This is what it looks like. So it's, it's American sweet corn masala. That will be really spicy, but please adjust. <laughs> oh! Wow. Someone wanted to get my mouth burned today. Oh. This is very spicy, but it's really nice. It's not too spicy. It's just, it's just right. It's just right. 
it's not unbearable but for some people who are not used to spices you might find it a bit overpowering but i'm okay with it might be somebody's getting trouble in the morning huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> Woo. seems it's gonna be late in the morning <laughs> 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 so guys oh, God. it's gonna be late if anything happens to me uh, nothing. Ah! She's responsible. <laughs> she recommends. <laughs> now I'm joking. No, no, nothing will happen to you. I'm nothing joking, will happen. So yeah, this is the sweet corn masala, guys. It's been a good experience. Definitely try it when you come to India. Yes. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, cameraman. <laughs> okay, so they they recommend I try this one. What's the name of this one? Penny Mama. Penny Mama. Penny Mama. <laughs> Penny Mama. A very interesting name. So this is Penny Mama. So let's try this. Wow. So this is what it looks like guys. It's, it's like it's like pasta yeah. <laughs> with um, sweet corn in there and yeah. spices. <laughs> Lovely. Definitely try Penny Mama if you ever come to Bengaluru. It's spicy, it got sweet corn in there. Really nice flavor. Thank you. After four episodes of the vlog, they will have a long, long list. Right. Oh, definitely try it. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Hey, let's. Okay, guys. So finally, it's already done. Yeah. And he's going to explain to us what's going on so, here. So, welcome what am I back, guys. Thank you. This is a puriza. It's a fusion dish. Puriza. Wherein we bring pizza flavors into puri. Oh. Okay. It's a base of pani puri. Uh, you get some veggies into it and we have uh, added our secret sauce and it's loaded with cheese Could you reveal to us the secret sauce? Du -du 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 <laughs> it's secret sauce It's alright, secret sauce <laughs> So, it's added with uh, oregano chili flakes Okay And uh, our secret sauce and our uh, mayo Okay, so can I ask you, you know the, the, the pani puri itself, this the out yeah. of it, yeah. what's that made from? Maida, I guess. Maida oh. and uh, chiroti raba. Okay, it's like a flour, and, and then you it's fry it. It's a all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. And uh, something called as uh, chiroti raba. Okay, all right. So it's like an all-purpose flour, yeah. and they fry it to get this kind of yeah. thing. Okay, so let's try it. Let me let's have a seat. Yeah, sure. I think we need more light. Mm. Yeah, all right, your camera on there. Can you see me on there? No. No. I yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. See me clearly? Yeah. So, guys, the name again? Puriza. Puriza. Mexican Puriza. Oh, okay, so this is Puriza, guys. So, yeah. they, they incorporated a pizza flavor, yeah. a pizza flavor, pizza uh, style in the Pani Puri. Let's try it. It's too hot, I guess. Wow. Are you sure about it? Wow. I'm not really sure about it. Honestly, is it so good? It's good. Okay. Guys, you know those mini pizzas they do at Pizza Hut? The kind of cheesy pizza pizzas? It tastes exactly like that. That's the vibe I'm kind of getting from that. So, very, very interesting. Wow. Thanks for the light. <laughs> So this is the size of it and literally inside it, it's, it's a bit cheesy in there and, and literally it just tastes like a mini, a mini kind of cheesy pizza Let me try the sauce Yeah, that's a secret sauce that's so this is your secret sauce? Yeah. Okay, so this is like the secret sauce here. So let's see. It's too tangy. You get all flavors into it. With the sauce, it started off a bit bitter, then it got sweet, yeah. and then it's a bit tingly. Yeah. It's almost like, I thought it was a tamarind sauce at, at, at first. Yeah. And then the flavors keep changing, but it's really nice. It's not too spicy. Yeah. It's just right. So, with the sauce, it's really nice, guys. You get different. 
a different taste experience on your taste bud from sweet to sour to tingly and a little bit spicy so this is really nice guys i'm liking it so far and definitely check them out at six food six face food court yeah yeah so definitely check them out i'm gonna finish it and this is come closer to the light this is the Remind us of your name again, Uncle Payne. Kartik. 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 So this is Kartik. Yeah. He's the one that made this lovely um, type of pizza here with the pani puri incorporated. Puri, puri eats, as he calls it, and it's really nice. And this is his friend as well. Jay. 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 Yeah, this is Jay. And Umesh. Yeah. And Umesh. So really cool guys, guys. Definitely check them out if you ever come to VV Puram Street Food Food Market here in Bangalore. And thank you for visiting Ungalil Ungalai Sagmit. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Alright guys, the journey is going to begin right here, they got a lot going on, it's very busy, it gets really packed here from what I've been told, so we're going to walk in and really connect with the people, I mean, you got a lot of different things being sold here, you can see from fruits to fruit juices, all kind of different vegetarian dishes, it's a real vibe here guys, so let's walk in and see what's going on. Wow. Okay. Oh wow, let's see what's going on. Namaskar. Namaskar. Yeah. Uh, which one's this? Uh, Dabili. Dabili. Wow. How much? 50. 50 rupees. Wow, okay. Okay, let's have one. This is Chavaji. Okay, I'll have one of those ones. One oh, no. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm Some people saying hello, alright? Yeah, thanks. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so this is it, guys. This is how it's preparing it. Aap kaise hain? First class, sir. Okay. All right. Aapka naam kya hai? My name is. Your name? Ivas Kumar. Ivas Kumar. This is Ivas Kumar. So, what what is the main language spoken here in Bangalore? Karnataka. Oh, Karnataka. Okay. 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 So, Canada, the language. All right. I'm learning. I'm learning. So you can see this is how he's preparing it here. So what have you got in there? Do you have cheese and a dal? Butter. Butter. Okay. All right. So this is it, guys. Trying to speak a little bit of Hindi as well, but there's a different language we spoke. So this is what it looks like, guys. Let me show. Let me show you. So this is the vibe. So let's try this out. Wow. So, you sprinkle a little bit of nuts in here and we got some butter and stuff going on inside there as well. So let's see what this really tastes like. It's a real vibe here at the street food market. A lot of people are around with their family. Real good vibe. Mm. slightly spicy flavor but you can taste the butter which is mixed in there it has a bit of a creamy cheesy type of taste and of course with the nuts it gives it a nice kind of crunchy um, bite once you start biting the bread here guys so let me show you what I'm, I'm saying so on top they'll put the nuts and inside you've got the butter paste and it's kind of like a cheesy um, flavor it's almost like a cheese spicy sandwich so this is a very interesting start to my journey in the street food market my friend what's the name of this one Dabili. Dabili. so this is Dabili, guys so i'm gonna finish this up and we'll go and explore more of the street food okay so that was an interesting start it cost me 50 rupees for that sandwich so let's keep on walking guys you can see there are so much people here tonight and so many different things are being sold so let's carry on walking. Let's see how, what else is going on. Wow. Hi, bro. Hello, how are you doing? 
All right. We got corn. What's this one? Pani puri. Hello. Pani puri. Wow. How much? Thirty rupees. Thirty rupees. Okay. Can I try one? All right. So we're gonna try uh, pani puri here in Bangalore. Yeah, yeah, vlogging. Hello, <laughs> people watching the vlogging. So, guys, this is Pani Puri. What's your name, my friend? Shubham. Shubham. All right. My name's Imani. All right. So I put this here. Wow. Regular. Okay. So I eat it like this, or are you going to add some more stuff? So he said I need to eat it guys, so let's see what's going on. Alright. Mm. The first one. Little spicy. So he's doing he's doing garlic. Only one two, yeah? Two two flavours. All right, so this is another flavor. So the first one was a bit, uh, it's li literally they have a spicy sauce in there and it's almost like a kind of spicy but sweet peppery taste. So that's, that, that's the best way I could describe it. So let's look at this one. We got onions in there, dal also, and we got dal also and the pani puri. All right, so let's try this one. Mm. Yeah. So this one, less spicy than the first one I had, but he put a garlic flavor in that one. So that one had garlic in there. So very, very interesting. So very nice start to the Pani Puri, guys. Guys, the place is absolutely buzzing with people. I mean, just look at the atmosphere here. It's almost like a carnival here in Bang Bangalore. Very, very interesting. I want to sample some more foods. So we tried the pani puri, we've tried the sandwich before and let's see if we can try some more foods here at the VV Puram street market here in Bangalore. Hello my friend, Hello. Namaskar. All right. Namaskar. All right. Okay, a lot of pan up. They, they got a lot of pani, pani puri here. Very interesting. <laughs> All right. This is interesting. You got like literally almost like potato chips hanging here. This is very interesting. What's the name of this one, my friend? Potato Chris. Krista. Okay, so this is potato Krista. So I think I'm gonna try this out for the first time. Hello, my friend. Namaskar. All right. Do you know the price of this one? 60 rupees okay so it's about 60 rupees so why not let's give it a shot this is what it looks like it's literally just hanging there all right so which is the best flavor should i get guys which one do you recommend best flavor spice peri puri eh? peri peri oh peri peri okay okay all right so i'm gonna try the peri peri flavor let's see what's go let's see what's happening so this is all I can see around me guys. This is the market. And it goes all down there. This is the sauce at the back guys. You put some bit of sauce in it there. Is that how you make it with the potatoes? So it's, you use this with this machine guys. That's how we get the curly taste. And that's it there. Voila. Okay. What's it? Whoa! Okay. Look at this, guys. Have a look at this. Like a tower here. Look at that. Wow. All potato peri peri chips. And he got a bit of, um, what do you call it? Um, mustard. I think added to it as well. No mayo, mayonnaise. mayonnaise. So that's really interesting. That's how he makes it here, guys. Look at that. This is how it's all done. Very interesting. My friend. Yeah, him, okay, all right. So it's 60 rupees for this. 
So it, there you go, my friend. So it's 60 rupees for this, guys. Let's have a bite. All right, I don't know really. Okay, how do I eat it? Wow. Okay, Nani. Okay, guys, it's a spicy barbecue peri peri flavor that I've got here. If you know what Nando's is like, or if you've had peri peri in your chicken or whatever, your peri peri potatoes, chips, this is what it's like. So, yeah, it's really nice, fried really nicely, and it is spicy, spicy peri peri. All right guys, so we've tried the potato chips. It was the peri peri flavor. Very, very nice and interesting. You saw how they do it there. So let's carry on going more and see what else we can get here at the street food market here in Bangalore. More, more potato chips over there. What is that? Hang on a minute. I think I'm seeing something different on the other side. Hello, my friend. All right, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Sorry. Thank you. Wow After you. Sorry. All right. Wow What are they selling here? Is it ice cream? Wow, which is the best flavor? You don't know <laughs> All right So he's saying they're selling ice cream very interesting how they're doing it here. Let's have a let's have a look There's a lot of scraping and cutting of the ice cream, so that's very interesting. Namaskar, my friend. Namaskar. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. So how do you say how do you say hello? Namaskar. Huh? All right. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna try this ice cream. So let's wait and see. Very attentive to detail the way they do their ice cream here guys Very very interesting So I've taken, I've ordered for the vanilla cone ice cream Because I don't think I can eat a full one of what they're doing But this is how they do the rolls of their ice cream here Really nice so the, Yeah vanilla So they have different um, flavors so over there he's doing the um, vanilla putting it on the cone for me and that's it, it right there look at that really nice ah daniel bad all right nice no problem my friend yeah so this cost me 50 rupees for this um vanilla cone ice cream so we're gonna taste it and see what it's like just waiting for my change from over there but look at the details here guys, let's have a look at this Thank you Alright Look at the details of how they do their ice cream here guys This is really nice, look at that And they'll do it in a certain rolls as well So let's step aside Some other people need to order Alright So I've ordered the vanilla cone ice cream Sorry. Sorry. Wow, it's really packed here, guys. Lots of people. Hello, my friend. Namaskar. All right. Yeah. 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 Guys, you know sometimes you, you buy an ice cream and you can't really taste the flavor of, of the ice cream you're buying. You can really taste the vanilla in this ice cream. You can really tell they, they took their time to really include enough vanilla in there. So when you taste it, 
you know you're having a vanilla ice cream so this was very very nice i'm liking what i'm buying so far in the vv puram street food market here in bengaluru so let me finish this up i'll just show you what it looks hey, like up? hey what's up how you doing namaskar i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good <laughs> all right so let me just show you what it looks like this is it this is it guys really rich in flavor i'll finish this off and we'll explore more of Vivi Pura Market. Peace. Do you want to channel the song? Bro, what channel? Bro? Yeah, the channel is Inspire for Travel. Inspire for Travel. Inspire for Travel, yeah. Inspire for Travel. Yeah, Inspire for Travel, that's right. How much K subscribers, bro? 21K. 1K, 21K. 21K. Bro. Congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you. Is what it you... on, bro? Yeah, it's on right now, I'm filming. Nice. Yeah, so what, what what street food did you guys try tonight? Today, my bro. Dosa, dosa. Dosa, bro. Dosa, yeah? yeah. Then, uh, Gulkan, Gulfi. Gulfi, okay. We are from Chennai, bro. Oh, you're from Chennai? Ah, yeah, bro. Oh, okay. So they're from Chennai. That's Tamil Nadu. Inspire from? Inspire for travel. All travel, bro. Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah, so Chennai, yeah? Ah, I, yeah. I was in Chennai before coming here. Ah. Yeah, Ungal Payane. This one, this one. Ah. Ungal Payane. This one? Yeah, yeah, that's it. So I have my Tamil brothers there. Where are you from, bro? Me, I'm from England. England? Yeah, yeah. Ungal, Ungal is Tamil Terima. Yeah, so Ungal Pay, right? Ah. Your name? Name. Ungal, bro. Okay, Ungal Pay, right? Ishan. Yen Pera Imani. Yeah, Ungal is Sandita Kilma Kilchi. Acha, bro. Acha, all right. So yeah, we're meeting people from China. I see you again, guys. All right. All right, so they're from uh, Chennai. That's the Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu state. So really good. Hello, hello. All right. People are there. Hi. <laughs> Real good vibe here. So this is where I got the chips earlier. See you again, guys. Bye. So this is where I had the chips earlier on. Okay, so we're moving. So we got people from different states here. Those guys we just talked to were from Chennai in Tamil Nadu. <laughs> wow no sugar no water no ice this is what this says this is something which is really healthy no so no water no sugar no ice very healthy my friend namaskaram yeah how, how much for a glass of this drink 25 each 25 each can i have one glass please sugar cane juice all right nice wonderful so we're gonna get some sugar cane juice guys and you can see they have a very interesting sign here like we just read no sugar no ice and no no what no water so so this fights against cancer they got a sign here it says fights. my friend he said it fights against cancer good for high blood pressure <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a glass of this health juice. Thank you so much. Ungalere, ungalere Tamil Terima. No, oh Canada. Namaskaram, namaskaram. All right, namaskaram is the way you greet people here in this region. So, this is what the juice looks like. Wow. You know what makes this sugar cane juice unique? Some people they might add water in their juices and stuff and mix it but with this one it's literally he's squeezing it from that machine right there as you can see what he's doing and you get everything from the sugar cane everything comes from that sugar cane so that's Namaskaram! Hello! <laughs> oh thank you, alright yeah so very friendly people here guys i have been enjoying my time vlogging still have my sugar cane juice keeping it healthy so i need to find a, an uber but my battery died so i need to find some way to get back to my hotel so until the next episode namaskaram